Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're back on Mega Tank, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how having mega fish means mega poos and what I'm doing for filtration. So I've shown you this before. This is my eight foot by four foot by three foot DIY aquarium, which for the moment is holding water and it has these pipes coming out of it. So if I give you a quick reminder, this pipe and the furthest one away are the overflows and then the two in the middle are the returns. So water comes out of here, down along and into this, which is my sump. And the sump is essentially just a big box. I've got it covered with a lid and some thermals just to keep it a little bit warmer. But basically the water goes in that end, goes through a bunch of sponges, some biological material, and then there's a sump pump here, which returns under there and back up through the two in the center into the tank. There's also another sump pump in there which flies away up here into my wastewater. Now when I say it's a sump it's a bit grand for what it really is. It's a big box full of stuff. I've put in some sponges and stuff to kind of separate areas. I had this idea that it would have a, a settlement chamber but it's really not doing the trick for me. Um, it's not as easy to clean out as I'd hoped so I have an idea of a bit of an upgrade. And my idea is to introduce this, which is a Christmas tree box. Uh, 20 quid B&Q gets you this big plastic Christmas tree box. It's a four foot box, nice and thin. And um, what I've done is I've just cut some pieces of acrylic or Perspex to size and kind of silicon them into the sides or stick them into the sides at least to create a little bit of a baffle effect, which has not worked properly. So let's not worry about that. Um, but when we do sort that out, basically I'm going to have the water go in one side, go under one and over the other, and that's just to direct the water flow to make sure it goes through all the media rather than just around it or over it. Um, these aren't that functional anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. But the idea was to have this fill it full of all the biological media from the current sump and any other spare stuff I've got around. I'm not going to fill it full of water. The water level is going to be below this just so as this is purely biological and add this into the current system. And then that means with this actual sump, I take out all the biological media that's in there, put it into the other one and just have one big chamber for settlement with one sponge sectioning off the two pumps. So all the dirt and grot and everything goes into that one, settles down. I can just shut the filters off, shut the pipes off, do a quick, Shop vac of all the crud in there, get that out. And that's an easy clean, you can just take out a bit of sponge. I'll put in more sponge in this probably. Give that a quick clean and then that's the maintenance done. The majority of the water has been cleaned from mechanical wise anyway, before it gets returned back through these pipes. Returning through these, I'm gonna take one of these pipes, put a T below the valve and run an extra one up, feeding into there a relatively slow flow, um, so maybe 50-50, return most of the water back to the tank, but put half of the water into here, which I can control with the valves, let that run through all the biological media, getting the full biological filtration with loads of biological media, and then drop it back into the tank off here. This is more of a, a proof of concept if this works. I'll probably build something more permanent that will run across the length of the back of the mega tank more like a kind of backy shower system type affair. But I just want to see how I got on with this first off. So job number one is to alter some pipe work. And to accomplish that, I basically just bought a few of these, which are some 90 degree elbows. We've got a T piece so as I can take off one of the current return lines. Um, I've also bought a union just so as I can take it all apart again without disrupting too much and another valve, which I've lost. Okay, check my notes. I didn't order another valve, but I think we're still okay to proceed because if I put a T in underneath one of those lines and just bring the head height up higher anyway, just gravity will sort that out and I can control the flow with these two valves. Return and in here. So the idea is install the pipe up there to run up and in, water trickle, 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 drill a hole in the bottom of this with a return down here then we should be good. Sometimes easier just to get started. So I'm going to put a T-piece in here. Let me think this through. T-piece is going to go here. 
elbow running parallel. That should work. There's some water in the lines. Um, obviously, I need to cut off. These things, if you have a lot of pipes to cut, invaluable. Just kind of dry fitting at the moment. Make sure my pipe runs make sense. Uh, I want that about there. And then I've got this PVC adhesive when I'm happy with that. Get all the bits fitted. And I've marked a hole where it's going to come in. So it comes up in there, goes straight through. And I've just put, because I had an extra elbow, put an extra elbow on it pointing that way. So the water flow is going to be towards the back, through the media, over these baffles, which I have yet to fix in. And then back into here. And then I need to drill a hole here which is going to return back into the tank, which is here. As a return, we're going to have this. So imagine that inside the box. The water will fill up till we get to the top here, go through these holes, down, out, through, and down. Because I've decided to position it there, that's just going to go straight back into the overflow for the sump. So, little addition at the bottom of it, which is just a little bit of hose. It's going to send it over to where the other returns are going. And then now that fresh, clean water can get mixed with all the other water that's going back into the tank and get recirculated properly. So just fit this. So it's going to look a little bit something like this. Water will come in, go that way. And then there's the overflow back down to the main tank. And um, that's just below the height of that. So it's not going to be very deep. It's just making sure all the water goes through all the media. And because it's four foot long, there will be plenty of opportunity for it to do that. So, let all those joints cure, and we'll come back, give it a test run. Right, test time. So, we're all hooked up, everything's cured properly. If I open the return valves, it's going to back siphon from the tank, but then turn on the sump pump. Turn on the sump pump. That's that kicked in. I'm expecting everything to go straight through these because these are lower than this, which is happening. And then if I just start to close these valves, I get a little bit up there. And if I, then I can use this to control the flow that we want there. So I'm just gonna get it, for now that's fine. See that the water level hitting the baffles, so that the flow is going the way I want it to go. And I'm just going to check at this point that the top level is right and that there's no leaks from any of the holes that I've put in. In fact, I'll just turn this up a bit. So 
So with all the media in, that's working pretty well to be fair, quite happy with that. Uh, the lid on the box keeps it nice and sturdy. And then if you go down here, you can see it's returning just above Gordon there, just how we want it. And adjusting those valves, I can get it to return whatever I want and get a bit slower. can return with the overflows, which you can't really see, but it's doing it, it's doing what I wanted. Success! So, now we have that as a settlement chamber, with all the returns and stuff separated by sponge, so we've got mechanical happening there. Up here into, it's just biological, but if I wanted any chemical I could put that in there as well. And now I just need to fill it up with even more look, old sponges and stuff, I can just keep that going and then that keeps it Loads of cycled media for when I want to start off some little extra tanks and stuff. These guys should be happy. I've got a bit of messing about with pipes and valves to make sure I get the flow rate I want. I want a really slow flow up here, really. So I want most of the water being returned uh, and going quite slowly through here. So it has plenty of time to be in contact with all the media and everything. For 20 quid for a box and maybe another 15 quid for some uh, bits of pipe work. I think that's a bit of a win. In the fullness of time, I don't really like this being here and it kind of limits my access and stuff here. So I'm probably going to build something a little bit more permanent going across the back of Mega Tank, stretching all the way across probably, or at least halfway. Same, same function though, so this is the proof of concept and I think that will work quite well. Um, and it shows you don't need to have filtration that costs hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds if you don't mind it being a bit of a bodge. With that said, I'll get back to fiddling and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for joining and if you want to come and see me on Friday, 9pm UK time, we do a live stream. Come and point out all the flaws. <laughs> see you then. Bye!